Today, I'm buying one of the first convenience 2024 Subaru Crosstrex in Canada. I've been waiting to get a car. I've gone through like four different options. <laughs> like I, I put a deposit on quite a few and then it just never worked very well. But today I'm getting a Subaru 2024 convenience Crosstrex. My dad has to sign on it because I'm 18, but you guys made this possible. This is YouTube money invested since I was, I don't know how old. How old, do you remember? Eight. Eight? No, okay, yeah. well. You were eight years old when you but started that's not, YouTube. But that's not, not when I put it in investments, but like the money started coming in. Well, it didn't even start coming in until I think I was nine when I actually was able to get monetized. that had damage over 20%, no. You sign right here for the purchase of your new car. There we go. Okay. Thank, I now own a car, thank oh, you. I, <laughs> yeah, with your money, I bought a car. I just bought a car. Me too, yeah, I, I bought a car as well. It. Okay, I'm in my new car. This is crazy, I'm about to drive to a place that is a little brighter so you guys can just see my whole review. I just got the walkthrough of the car. There's so many features I didn't even know existed and I'm just like, wow, I'm excited for that. I set up my mirrors. I'm already all safe, all buckled. Here I go, this is crazy. Oh my goodness, I just bought a car. Welcome to my 2024 Subaru Crosstrek convenience. I'm going to give you a tour. We have black rims. I was very excited to see this. They make the car look really good, honestly. And my winter tires that I got also have black rims. We've got rails on the top, and I think there's probably like extensions you can put on here to buy and stuff. But this is great if you wanna transport Christmas trees. I don't know. Here we have the, what do you call it? The gas thingy you just press it to open it i think the car has to be unlocked to do that i think that's what i was told something else i do want to mention about this cross check is that it has a lot more trim so a lot more black on the car than the 2023 cross check i think it looks good um we're gonna get to the car here so this is the key that you get i got two keys with mine so i'm assuming if you buy it brand new you'll also get two keys to unlock it you gotta press the unlock button, but I never actually locked it, I don't think. We got the mats down here. Um, I am getting all weather mats for all the seats and also the back, but they didn't have them in yet. And then over here, we've got um, a bunch of controls. So this is how you work the mirror. You basically turn it if you're doing the left or right mirror, and then you can move the thing around to adjust it to your preference. We have also got the child lock for the windows and then just all the other window controls and then the lock and unlock button. We got the lovely steering wheel. Guess what? I got to use my 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 horn on the road. I never get to honk the horn, but the one person did not go in front of me. And I, I got to hear it, and it was like a really cute, like, dirt. <laughs> so that's the horn, obviously. And you have a lot more controls on here. And this, I'm, I'm assuming, is to, like, skip songs. You got the voice command button which basically you press it and you say call this person or do this for me and the car will just do it because the car is really cool so um that is like super handy and then we've got the call button the hang up button and such and then you got the volume on this side we have cruise control and then these two buttons control how much distance you have between the car, like your car and the car in front of you. And there's options of one, two, three, and four. This button is for lane assist. So if you're like starting to go out of the lane, the lane, the uh, steering wheel will shake or it'll beep, just depending on what settings you choose for your car. And then here we've got sport mode, intelligent mode. It's the settings on how fast your car is gonna accelerate. Also this button right here is just when for your cruise control. Um, it, and you press it down when you want to set the speed and go up for reset. Right up here you've got your visors and something I was very excited about is that they actually, okay, one, one thing, they're plastic, they're not made of fabric or some sort of plasticky material, so easy to clean. And then you've got the extenders for the sunlight that comes through here. Um, when I was driving my dad's car, I would put down like the sunglasses thing to try to block the sun and it was just always so annoying. So this is fantastic. 
and then you've got your mirrors right here right here you've got your lights you can control when you want them to turn on and so on and right here is just a toggle to be like oh i want it to turn on when the door opens or turn off or all that all that jazz just easy um, access to adjust and if you look down here you will see the whole shebang right here so park reverse neutral drive and low it's just like you can use it for off-roading and stuff this is your emergency brake right here we've got our seat heaters for both of these and the back ones don't have heating do they no okay just just checking and then right down here you got your usb your aux and inside you got the standard i don't know what they call these 12 volt 120 watts <laughs> never use them because i don't smoke but um you can hide some things in there i don't know cigarette later yes but i'm telling you you can just put something else in there like a mini egg if you're ever feeling like you, you know okay the dashboard okay i just want to mention it's actually really nice and flat like on this side like if you have some documents you can just put them on here so that's cool my car actually doesn't have a push button start the lower trim has a key slot so the key to turn it on will have to go in here um i do want to mention how many cup holders there are so you got two up at the front here there's also a little spot right here like under this um i don't know what you call these between the seats um where you can put whatever you want and you got I think one two more here and then more storage space so that's four at the front and at the back how many are there one on the left in the back and then you have one on the right so that's four in the front two in the back so that's six in the car do math yes is we'll just cover the back end of the car here and then we can turn the car on and just see all the crazy cool features in this car yeah nothing really interesting here in the back kind of similar to the front you got your all the seats have their little ah you're driving too fast handles so that's always great the back doesn't open with a button but with your hands so if you got hands or another way to open it you're good it's actually really nice it's got this like handle so it's easy to pull down yeah you got your back seat the reason i wanted a cross check one of the big reasons is that it has actually pretty decent size for a storage space in the back and I'm just imagining like road trips and fitting things back here and it's like a smaller car like good medium size but still a good space for cargo and then these just flip down I think you yeah you pull okay if you see this right here you pull this up and then you can and it lays almost totally flat There's something in there your, oh, your oh, bag is there okay <laughs> my bad i got a bag in there however if this was totally fly you got lots of space for storage if you're like doing a two-person road trip you got like tons of storage which is awesome you got under here spare tire everything you could possibly need all that good stuff gorgeous okay now we're going to turn the car on and see what features it has so if you turn it a little bit okay this is accessory mode can't hear the engine and this is the point where you can start adjusting your mirrors and everything but you can also turn the engine on just by holding it up there for a little bit and i'll start but i'm gonna put it back in accessory mode here funny thing i thought that it was just gonna be this screen i don't know why i thought that but then it actually has two and then it's got you know this all these buttons separating them but it's almost like the size of an ipad basically combined the upper models do have like a bigger screen without this in the middle and it's literally like an ipad in your car almost but yeah i'm i'm satisfied with this this was pretty exciting for me hazards right here you have volume and then this is to adjust the radio and you've got your heating for just the car in general and you know defrosters everything you need there on this button for the radio and this button for media so bluetooth usb iphone and aux and you got phone so you can just connect your device i've already connected my phone it was super easy and you can sync your contacts as well and it'll just like you can favorite them as well just by holding them like holding down on the star i'm pretty sure and apps we've got subaru starlink which is a thing you can purchase or it'll come with the upper models but i didn't get that so traveling here it's like you can sync the weather this was really cool she pulled up this thing it's called parking and it will show you the parking like areas around you like how much they cost and like from what hours of the day and stuff so i think that's pretty sick pretty cool and then you got fuel prices 
whoa wait that's so cool i didn't i think i wasn't paying attention when she looked at that um and then sports i guess if you're into that you got that and stocks my dad was like who would look at stocks in their car and apparently some people would so it's so important that it's on there no judgment down here x mode it's for icy snowy conditions as well as off-roading so it'll automatically turn off if you go above 30 kilometers per hour but it's really helpful for those types of driving situations and then vehicle control you got your cruise con cruise control you know auto vehicle hold and then the steering has responsive headlights so these are actually really cool basically as you turn the headlights turn with the the steering and stuff so you can have that off but i think it'll just make sense to have it on super cool driving assistance um you've got your pre-collision braking system so this is the whole eyesight thing so this car has the eyesight feature which basically means it helps you not crash into the car in front of you if you're getting a little close so it'll automatically brake for you or do all that cool stuff to keep you from getting into a car crash so this is just settings for that and then lane departure it just keeps you in the lane it'll have you can put on all functions so there's a buzzer or it'll shake the steering wheel and basically if you don't signal this thing will go off right here is also super cool you got to have the car on to take a look it's the auto start stop so basically when you're at a light or your car stopped the engine is going to shut off saving you lots of gas and also we do got the windshield wipers and the headlights the windshield wipers are not automatic but there are auto headlights and all that cool stuff so nice and we also got a light up here this is the kind of fabric you get for the seats in the convenience model it's a little bit lower grade um, compared to the levels up I'm gonna take care of my car really well so I was okay with getting the you know flimsier fabric um, I do want to talk about the steering wheel as well the higher levels are leather wrapped and then I got in this car and I was like dad it's leather wrapped and he said no it's just some other fabric so I think it's really nice material it's vinyl it's super smooth we are in the back seat right now there are hooks on each side for you know all your wedding clothes or whatever you need they're not in the front because it would be very dangerous to have your clothes hanging while driving I hope you enjoyed my review slash vlog of this car um, I still have to get used to all the features and everything but overall I'm very happy with my purchase so far because I'm very excited about lots of the things that this car comes with and I think it's going to be a good investment for me as an 18 year old in 10 years I'm probably going to have kids in the backseat it's just like kind of crazy to think about um, but this thing is going to be with me for a while and I'm going to do hopefully some road trips and all that cool stuff you want to do when you're young. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys next time I post. Bye.